Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And remember last game, Donnie Wolf got hurt. Well, bad news. He's out for four weeks with abdominal tear, so we're going to have to roll with Carrington. Remember, he did step in towards the end of the game through a touchdown pass. He was looking good, and maybe he's just him getting comfortable in the office, running some option, even though he can't run at all. Let's just look at our depth chart here. I mean, because we only have, remember, we started as a fresh program. We only have three quarterbacks, so this is kind of the problem we ran, ran into last dynasty because our first quarterback got hurt. Then we had, you know, two quarterbacks on the roster. Then our backup got hurt. So we're going to have to be careful because we do have Zach DeLuca right now as our backup. But if you look at our roster, we only have these two. Uh, if you look at the throwing stats, uh, Zach DeLuca, 74 throw power, 73 accuracy. But Carrington shows that he's a pretty good passer. So uh, maybe in this new offense, he will strive. He'll do a lot better than he's been doing. But guess what? We have no easy task this week going up against Oklahoma, number four Oklahoma. They have the number one offense in the nation, so our defense is definitely going to have it to work cut out for them. And you know what? I mean, this is going to be a pretty tough one. If we look at the top top teams in the nation, let's just look at how Oklahoma is ranked up against these top teams. So they're ranked number four right now, and they're behind Penn State, who's 3-0, Alabama, who's number two right now, and Ohio State, that's number one. So uh, we are going to have a tough matchup. So Oklahoma, Baker Mayfield, let's just get into it. Let's go. So we are here for this Oklahoma game, starting it out. This triple option is going to have to be a weapon in our offense, especially since now we're finding that Ingram, man, he's, he's a beast running the ball. So we definitely got to get him the ball more often. So here we go, going up against Baker Mayfield and the Oklahoma Sooners. And we're at home, so we got to pick up some of that home momentum. But early on in this game, we're finding Medley, who's getting open there on the whip route. So now as we're facing a second and eight past the 50-yard line, rolling out to the right and finding Ingram. And you know what? Ingram is getting better each game. I think, you know, they do have it so your guys progress a little bit. And I think it's just like awareness goes up. But I don't know. It just feels like some guys, like, over time get better. But there is Carrington finding Cantrell over the middle. Look at this throw. That is right in the middle of traffic. What a great throw that time by Carrington over the middle. So now we are into inside the 15 but we get down to a third and 12 and we throw over the middle and the oklahoma defense is too much there so stops us from getting to the end zone so now baker mayfield comes out and first play from scrimmage he's scrambling for a 10-yard gain the second play he gets outstanding blocking that time adams uh stumbles up to the 50-yard line so Baker Mayfield. I mean, this is they're running a no huddle offense right now. They haven't huddled at all, but they're completing every single pass, getting positive yards on every play. So now they're at about the 35 yard line, running a screen to Adams, and the blockers are all out there. Perfect blocking on that one. And Marquette cannot do anything about that one. He just rolls into the end zone for six there and that was easy i mean that drive was so easy for them and i mean it should be because i mean our defense is really bad but we get the ball back but on third and 11 carrington rolls out to the right gets a tackle there so now baker mayfield takes over and once again this no huddle offense is going to keep going for them but look at these blocks that they are getting on that one and i just get blown up by spencer the safety he gets blown up and man adams just runs for a very very long run on that one and it is just easy up to this point for them 14 to 3 so we have to start moving the ball because if we get into a shootout with them i mean they're gonna definitely outshoot us so we definitely gotta start moving the ball playing some run defense we gotta stop at least one element of their game and on offense we just got to move the ball because we can't allow this defense as good as they are to stop us from our scheme because we can't we can't get in a shootout we can't throw the ball like that we have to definitely run the ball so we're going up up with a lot of these 
play actions, run the ball. Here is Ingram this time getting a five-yard gain, and we're on to the second quarter, so five minutes left in the second quarter, and we're finding Rodgers on the curl route that time, beating man coverage. So now we're inside the 15-yard line on a third and six. Carrington's going to drop back under center, roll out to the right, and the pass rusher is going to be right there, so we got to throw that one away. So we do settle for the field goal. So now it is 14-6, to six, and Baker Mayfield leads this offense back onto the field, but giving the ball to Adams, another great run blocking scheme by this Oklahoma offense and Baker Mayfield rolling out to the right once again breaking a tackle there getting a seven yard gain and it seems like he just has his offense under control on this next play look at that he runs inside pitches the ball outside no look and Adams scoots up for a 20 yard gain so my defense is just not doing anything to their offense but here he's throwing over the middle I'm Bruh. there for the pick with Spencer but Marquise Brown steps in front, and that's going to be a completion. And you know what? If you let the computer keep their drives alive, alive you know Baker Mayfield is going to take advantage. He waltz into the end zone untouched for the 14-yard game. And just like that, Baker Mayfield has his Oklahoma offense running. I mean, they are just killing us. So now we're on two minutes left in this second quarter just trying to get some points on the board and McCray gets smacked up on that one so he drops the ball so we had to punt the ball away to this Oklahoma offense and Baker Mayfield finding his tight end that time Mark Andrews so now they're inside the red zone just about and Baker Mayfield's rolling out scrambling and sliding down inside the 20 so now he's facing a second and 10 and it's just too many weapons to cover Bidette gets the ball there so now it's a second and goal inside the red zone and we stop Adams finally get a stop so now they're facing a third and goal and Baker Mayfield from the pistol formation is gonna roll out to the and try to scramble and we get in for the sack that time so we do get them to settle for the field goal so on the ensuing kick spencer brad spencer that is our safety gets a nice return almost to the 50 yard line so now we have about 40 seconds left and look at that throw from Carrington finding Cantrell getting inside the 15. So we have an opportunity to get some points on the board before half. Make this a manageable lead. I don't know if we'll come back. I mean, we're obviously the inferior team. But rolling out to the right, Keon Medley, I mean, catches a straight dime on that one by Carrington. And we try the sneak. So now we have five seconds left. And we got to try to go for this end zone. So on a second and goal. We roll out to the right with Carrington. He only has got 54 speed, but he's getting to the end zone. Ken Carrington for the touchdown. So now we're down by 12 points. We got to go for two. Make it a even 10 points. And there it is. Jared Ingram getting in for the conversion. So we go into halftime only down by 10, but they do start the half out with the ball. So... We got to play some defense here. So Baker Mayfield leads this offense out, starting from the pistol formation. Rolling out left is Adams, getting a nice seven-yard gain past the 50-yard line. But on a third and three, show another triple option, another speed option, actually. Running the ball with Adams, pitching it out. So they do go for it on a fourth and down. And this time, Spencer gets caught up in the block there and he cannot get to Adams in time so Adams gets the first down moves the chain so you know Baker Mayfield's gonna keep this drive alive and this no huddle offense is so impossible to stop Bruh. but look at my outside linebacker on that play just straight halting I mean what was he watching that Evans just like watches him run past him but Ali Christian gets in for the sack that time Baker Mayfield's trying to roll out so on a third and four Getting inside the red zone, I run past him with my uh, with Wiley, and he gets uh, gets stopped short of the first down. But on a fourth and one, sending an all-out blitz on that one. But Baker Mayfield finds his tight end, and Baker Mayfield's actually shaking up on that play, and it actually turns out later that he's out for the game. But look at that triple option. There's a glitch in this game where that play exactly 
your guy just stops and that time it comes back to haunt me i lose a hold down on that one and i'm forced to throw it up into traffic on a third down so now murray is in at quarterback for baker mayfield that got hurt on that last drive so he's leading this offense out but we do stop them so maybe with baker mayfield out we can make a comeback and here's brad spencer back to receive the punt but he gets hit Oh my gosh, he gets hit so hard. He fumbles on that one. So we thought we had a chance, but we give it right back to this Oklahoma offense. And you know the rules. You give the CPU Heisman cheese the ball back. They're going to take full advantage. And Murray on a second and inches is telling Ramsauer to get off of me on that one and stumbling for a 12 yard gain. So Murray. On a first down coming up, finds Meade on the outside. So now he's inside on a second and goal. Murray's going to have all day to throw. Look at his pocket. But he decides to tuck it and run, and Murray's got the speed. He's getting to the outside in for the touchdown, and they are up by three touchdowns in this one. Uh, and so that, that lead is definitely grown a lot bigger. So it's a 24-point lead right now going into the fourth quarter but Carrington at least got to show something here he's finding McCray the freshman over the middle Eddie McCray that is and Eddie McCray hasn't been doing much this game but I mean our past game hasn't been doing much at all but here we are finding Herman Rogers he's getting smacked on that one but getting up inside the 30 yard line so on a first and 10 Carrington is gonna find Rogers once again fitting it through the safety in the corner on that one so now we're just trying to get some points on the board. And on a first and 10, I had an open X receiver there, maybe for a touchdown, but I don't trust Carrington throwing on the run only when he's setting his feet. So on a third and goal, we attempt a running back counter, and it gets stopped by the defensive end. So now it's a fourth and six. We just got to go for it, whatever it takes. But Carrington gets swallowed up by this Oklahoma D line look at this I mean they are just shredding our offensive line so later in the fourth quarter Murray once again leading this offense out finding Anderson there on the dump pass and on a first and goal Murray's gonna do a quarterback draw break a tackle that time from Hale and he's gonna waltz into the end zone and this Marquette defense is just breaking and they go on to win this one 45 to 14 ingram only gets 30 yards rushing because we were down the whole game so we definitely had to pass but herman rogers almost has 100 yards in this game cantrell has a solid game i mean not too many drops in this game usually we have a bunch of drops our receiving core is definitely getting better eddie mccray had a drop but i mean the drops are definitely decreasing but on the other side of the ball baker mayfield look at him perfect 10 for 10 two touchdowns so hit subscribe hit that like button we got the battle of wisconsin coming up next week so it's gonna be a good game a great rivalry game so tune in let's get it let's go